Live blog, Norton hits fifth field goal spade struggles in red zone Michigan started with good field position yet a gin at Air Force's 46. Ty Isaac had a one-yard rush on first, but then took the next handoff 45 yards to the house, but a hold by Kekoa Crawford negated the touchdown and pushed Michigan back to the 29. Wilton Spade connected with Tarek Black for seven yards and Karen Higdon was given a first down on a questionable spot after a three-yard run to end the third quarter. Spade nearly hit Eddie McDoom in the end zone, but the pass sailed just beyond his reach. Higdon rushed for no gain to set up third and ten and Jim Harbaugh would take a timeout. Spade tried to hit Black in the corner of the end zone, but it was thrown just too far. Quinn Norton hit his fifth field goal tying the school record and giving Michigan a 22-13 lead. Falcons forced into punt Air Force took over at its own 19-yard line after a short kick return. A first and 10 pass attempt went incomplete, but a holding call moved Air Force back 10 yards to its own 9-yard line. A short run on first set up a second and 18, but an incomplete pass downfield set up a long third down try. Arian Worthman kept it and gained about six yards as Michigan forced another punt. Donovan Peoples-Jones had another solid return into Air Force territory. Wolverines' red zone struggles continue Michigan took over at the Air Force 43-yard line. Ty Isaac ran for three yards, and then Wilton Spade rushed for eight and a first down. Eddie McDoom caught a screen pass, made a nifty move, and then gained five yards on first down. Karen Higdon rushed for just two yards and set up a third and three. Khalid Hill picked up the first on a short run. Spade then found Grant Perry for 13 yards down to the Air Force eight-yard line. On third and goal from the eight-yard line, Michigan decided to run, and Isaac was dropped for a three-yard loss. Quinn Norton made the chip shot field goal to give Michigan a 19-13 lead. Air Force goes the wrong direction. Air Force looked to take to the air again. But Arian Worthman was sacked for a six-yard loss by Chase Winovich. Worthman then option pitched the ball as he was getting hit, and it rolled back nine yards as Ronald Cleveland picked it up out of bounds for the loss. Worthman then rushed for a couple of yards, setting his team up for a punt on fourth and 23. A short punt bounced backwards and gave Michigan great field position. Michigan forced into another punt Keko Crawford took the ensuing kickoff out to his own 20-yard line. Ty Isaac was stuffed on first down for no gain. Eddie McDoom then took a handoff for four yards to force third down. Wilton Spate then threw an incompletion into great coverage to force a punt. Air Force would take over at its own 32. Air Force answers right back with 64-yard TD pass for the second time to begin the half. Air Force would receive the kickoff which resulted in a touchback. Two runs for seven yards forced a third and three, but Arian Worthman picked up the first with a four-yard run. It was Air Force's first third down conversion. Worthman then surprised everyone with a pass over the middle to Ronald Cleveland who took it 64 yards to the house. Michigan still led 16-13. Peoples-Jones gives Michigan first TD Air Force receive to begin the second half and started with a touchback. Parker Wilson was given the handoff on the first play and gained just a yard. Michigan hoped the tight defense would set the tone. Arian Worthman attempted his first pass of the game, but it was tipped into the air and nearly picked by Josh Metellus. On third and nine, Worthman was rushed, nearly sacked and threw an incomplete pass down the line while getting hit. Air Force punted to the Michigan 21 and Donovan Peoples-Jones returned a punt for a touchdown, and the Wolverines led 16-6. Air Force defense steps up in short field the Wolverines started with great field position at the Air Force 40. Eddie McDoom took a reverse for nine yards, and then Ty Isaac picked up the first down with a short run to the right side for about six yards. Wilton Spate was pressured on second and 11 and was sacked by the Air Force rush and fumbled. On third and 21, Isaac picked up four yards on a rush up the middle. Michigan would run the clock down to nine seconds in the half before attempting a long field goal. Quinn Norton's 49-yard attempt split the uprights to give Michigan a 9-6 lead. Air Force punts right back Air Force began the drive at its own 16. 
the first run went for a loss of one, and then Arian Worthman dropped back for his second pass play of the game and was nearly sacked, but managed to gain three yards. To avoid delay of game yet again, Air Force burned its second timeout. The Falcons ran an option up the middle with Worthman and he gained just one. The Falcons punted, but shanked it, and Michigan got the ball to start its drive at the Air Force 40-yard line.